you're looking at a picture of coke ovens being built probably some of the last coke ovens that were built in western Pennsylvania this is uh, in Luzerne Mines near Homer City Indiana County Pennsylvania um, coke ovens went cold forever in 1972 and the Dunbar Historical Society is rebuilding one in its original design from original never used specially cut fire bricks and stone right here in Dunbar this is part four approximately one year later after uh, these were delivered we're finally getting going I'm going to show you what we're working from and where we're at today on uh, August 7th 2009 these are the pallets of specially cut um, bricks to make a beehive shape oven we also have massive amounts of stone that was taken from a foundation of an old house in town that we use for the outside and you're now going to see where we're at in our progress this is right along the uh, Fayette Central Railways track that they use on weekends for train rides but here it is basically being built exactly the way the originals were built now because this will never be fired we had to cheat a little bit we're actually using um, masonry cement rather than a kind of a clay mud that they used and um, the base of course is the footer of course is concrete but um, you're seeing the first part of the ring being built with these never used bricks which was just a major find uh, this would probably have never happened had we not located these in um, a bank of ovens that exist down in Uniontown uh, and then you can see how the stone is working out um, this line of bricks in the front here is where the opening will be we'll be setting a, a steel lintel in that area and uh, the opening will be there um, got a long way to go it probably takes about 5,000 bricks to build and uh, to do a row uh, just it took about I don't know about an hour to lay one row of bricks in the turn of the century they budgeted a whopping $20 an oven to build this entire thing so it's pretty amazing but uh, if you're in the area stop stop by sometime you can see the progress of this we're hoping that uh, it'll be open and uh, part of the Dunbar Historical Society's uh, tourism efforts here in town but uh, pretty amazing sight by the way I'll show you where the historical society building is in relationship to this which is also next to the sheepskin bike trail so there's a lot of things to do in this area we'll do part five as we progress